Hello children. In this video, we will continue with the chapter substances in surrounding their states and properties. This part of the video, we will learn about the properties of substances. In the last part, we had learned about the states of substances. So let's start with the properties of different substances. Now I show some pictures and you need to name them and tell what are these pictures made up of that is of which substance these things are made. What are these? Well, these are rods. What are rods made up of? Rods can be made up of iron or aluminium. What's this? This is white powder. It can be either salt or chalk powder. What is this? A glass. A glass can be made up of either plastic, steel or glass. What is this now? This is a door which is made up of wooden or glass. Now how are we able to answer these questions? We identified their properties. That is we saw whether they were transparent or they were hard. What was the weight? What was the color? What was the sound, solubility etc and etc. So, substances can be identified by studying their properties. So, let's start with the properties of substance. Now, substances can be of various types. So, substances can be either metals or non-metals. Let's first learn the properties of the substances which are non-metals. So, we will first learn the properties of non-metal substances. So, there are seven properties of non-metals brittleness hardness elasticity fluidity density solubility and transparency so if any of these properties are present in any substances then that substance is a non-metal let's understand each one of them and understand these properties that actually what are these properties. You must have observed that whenever we apply more pressure on the substances like chalk or glass or brick, these substances they break very easily and they break into very small and minute pieces or particles. Such substances has brittleness in them and they possess the property of brittleness. So any substance which can be broken very easily, even coal and can be converted into minute particles, they have the property of brittleness. Now what will happen if you try to pierce a iron nail into a cardboard and into a wooden block? Where it will be easier to pierce the nail? Well, it will be easier for us to pierce the nail into the cardboard sheet. And it will be very difficult for us to pierce the nails into the wood. We will require a hammer for it. Well, this is called as the hardness. That is, the hardness of a substance is determined by how much resistance it offers to the substance being pushed through it. Now try to apply force on the rubber band or a sponge. You will find that the rubber band or a sponge changes its shape but as soon as you remove the force it returns to its original form. So such substances are said to have the property of elasticity. So such substances change their shape when a force is applied to them but they return to their original shape and size when the force is removed. Next property is fluidity. Now fluidity is the property which is possessed by all the liquids. How easily a liquid flow down the slope depends on the fluidity. The fluidity of any liquid is determined by how easily it flows. Now here we have taken two blocks of same size. That means their volume is same. But one is made up of iron and the other is made up of wood. 
and when we will measure them or that is weigh them we will get that iron block is much heavier than the wooden block so the mass of different substances having the same volume can be different this difference is because of the difference in their densities they possess the property of density now here the iron block has the higher density and the wooden block has the lower density next property is solubility when a solid substance dissolves in a liquid substance that means it has the property of solubility that means that the solid substance is soluble in the liquid substance but when a solid substance is not soluble in the liquid substance it does not have the property of solubility that means that particular substance is insoluble for example if you try to dissolve salt in kerosene so it is insoluble salt is cannot be dissolved in kerosene but salt can be easily dissolved in water so salt is insoluble in kerosene but soluble in water when we can look through a substance and see things on the other side then that substance is said to have the property of transparency and that particular substance is called as transparent so glass some type of plastic and clean water are said to be transparent substance now we will learn about the properties of metals we use different metals in our day to day life substances like copper gold iron are called metals metals are found in the form of minerals deep inside the earth also metals have very important uses let us study the properties of metals now the common properties of metals are malleability ductility electrical conductivity thermal conductivity and sonority now what will happen if we continuously hammer on a nail have you ever tried it the nail becomes flat same happens if you take any wire and hammer continuously on it it will become flat so on hammering repeatedly the metals can become flat and be converted into sheets this property is called as malleability when we stretch a metal it gets converted into wire so it has the property of ductility instead of hammering it and making it into a thin sheet we are stretching it and making in the form of wires next property is electrical conductivity that how easily electricity can be conducted or flowed through a particular metal so all the metals are a very good conductor of electrical conductivity that is they conduct electricity to some greater or lesser extent next property is thermal conductivity now children have you ever thought why most of the cooking materials that we use in the kitchen are made up of metals why the tawa the pan or any other cooking material is made up of metal only because metal allow the transfer of heat as the heat flows through them easily and that is the reason we use all the cooking materials made up of metals this property is called as thermal conductivity now the metals also have the property of sonority try to bang two thalis together or a spoon to a thali you will hear a particular sound of ringing so metals when bang together produce a ringing sound this property is called as sonority different metal produce different types of sound so children with this we complete our chapter substances in surrounding their states and properties
I hope you all have understood. Also, go through the textbook after watching the video. Thank you for listening, and take care of yourself and stay indoors. Bye bye.